Welcome to Our Kids, sponsored by Jefferson County Public Schools. I'm Atherton High School correspondent Elizabeth Satterley. This September, we'll check out what students have been up to this summer and how they're adjusting to the new school year. Let's start by taking a look at the first day back in classes. How you doing? Welcome back. The first day of school is always an exciting time. It's like a, a fresh start for everybody. We've had two years in a row that have been impacted by COVID and to welcome our kids back into the schools today on the first day of school is huge. We are at Sunny. It is the first day of school 2021 and we are welcoming our kids back for the school year. I'm very excited. I'm hyped. It's exciting. Everybody's going to be here. So we got the red carpet out, got the balloons. We just ready for the first day of school. We're ready for everybody to have fun this year. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey there. This is Pleasure Ridge Park High School. We are the Ridge, home of the Panthers, and just super excited to be here. Who's in the who's senior? Welcoming kids back to school today. And you can just feel the energy in the hallways and the classrooms, and uh, just really excited to be here. Fourth grade. Oh my goodness, you got so much. Get you some hand sanitizer. I saw it on your backpack. <laughs> can we get some here before you come into the building? Come on All right. in. Do you know where your teacher is? Who your teacher is? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's have a great day. You ready? We're at Blue Lake Elementary, and we are so excited to have our students back with us today. I have a second grader here at Blue Lake Elementary. The first day of school. Whoop, whoop. I'm excited about uh, learning and also um, the math that I like to do because it's really fun for me. Who wants to be the mayor? Aye. 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 <laughs> a little girl power going I'll here. Go. I like that. This is Knight Middle School. I'm Principal Dr. Geronda Majors, and my goal is to make sure that we put students at the center of everything. It is about student learning, and uh, we're so excited to have all our sixth and seventh and eighth grade back, ready to learn and to be safe. We're going to have some fun. Okay, most of it. We're going to ensure that young people. They learn about leadership and equity and empathy and engagement. This might be the toughest question on the wall right here. Bro, you, you play Fortnite? Because I see alien technology here. We're at the W.E.B. Du Bois Academy and we're in our new Verizon lab. It's a brand new lab space this year open to students with all kinds of awesome technology opportunities for learning. And I want them to feel that they're coming to back to a school building where they're building relationships with teachers and staff members and their peers and just um, really enjoying their first day of school and, and feeling a welcoming environment in their schools. Good morning, everyone! I'm excited about going to a new school and meeting some new friends. Meeting my teacher because I haven't met her yet and being in fifth grade. What's the most exciting thing about being back at school? That I can learn more things. And you're a fifth grader. First order of business is how you're getting home. The kids are first day of school. I have two first graders and two third graders. It's first day of school and we are back. And Dr. Polio has charged us to be lighthouses and that's what we are doing today. We are just trying to welcome everybody, have high energy. Hey, hey! Happy first day of school, everybody! Good morning! How are you? After COVID and everybody just being so used to being home and sleeping late, it was kind of a struggle, but they got up and they got themselves together pretty well. I'm very excited. She's ready. She's been ready to go since day one. We want her to stay focused more than anything in this classroom. You got to learn. Awesome. Have to get to college. Yeah. Seriously. She was ready to get back to school and see her friends, and she's a fifth grader this year. For um, our kids, coming back to school is a great thing. Some of them are anxious, just as our parents, but together we are going to get through this. Together we are stronger. Together we will make it happen. We really miss our kids. Like, that is our why. That's, that's why we're here. That's the only reason why we're here. It's not because of us, but because of them. I know they 
missed out a lot on just having their social time with their friends and you know each year only comes around once so they're never going to get that time back and I know they were just really looking forward to you know getting back in that social setting again. Because we haven't been in school in person all together in almost two years so it just makes today like uh, we're back and a little bit of normal is on its way, you know. Happy New Year! We got something magical here, and it's just, when you walk in, it's just no matter what's going on with your day, it's like you walk in the simple and it's like, the light really is shining. And so, um, I want to be here. That makes a huge difference, and our staff wants to be here. And we really missed our kids. I know that our staff is excited. They all wore the Happy New Year attire today, so it's just, it's already high energy, and it's a great way to start the year. It's going to be a great new year. Teacher LaPresha Edison just completed the teacher residency program, and she was excited to set up her classroom at Jacob Elementary. My name is LaPresha Edison. I teach first grade at Jacob Elementary. This is my first year with JCPS, and I'm so excited. I feel so very welcomed and so supported. LTR is the Louisville Teacher Residency Program, and it's put in place to piggyback off of our racial equity plan. Make sure it comes LTR has given me all the gems and all the keys that I need to be successful. As far as a teacher, a teacher can be a very um, independent job, and sometimes you have to be a one-person army, and uh, I feel like they gave me all the tools. This is going to be my large group area. Um, we have a wonderful program that we start the day um, with called Stanford Harmony, and it's based on social, social and emotional skills. And this is where we're gonna get to know each other better. I'm nervous, but I'm more so excited. I can't really get the smile off of my face. <laughs> um, everything about teaching is just exciting to me. I feel like we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have so much fun they might not even realize they're learning. I'm just gonna keep on keeping up the live energy and make sure that learning is enjoyable and it's something they wanna do. I want them to beg their parents to come to my room every day. <laughs> I want, don't want them to be forced. I want them to want to come see Miss Edison every day. And I know that that, I know I can do it. I know that feeling is coming very soon. Camp Ready for K helped incoming kindergartners sharpen the skills they will need as they start elementary school. So this purple? Yeah! She said it's round. Is it round or square? Yeah. We are at Dawson Orman Early Childhood Center. This is the second week of our Ready for K camp. It's a three-week camp uh, designed for any students registered in a kindergarten classroom in JCPS in the fall. What letter do we have next? D. D. We work on all kinds of readiness skills in the classroom. It is a very well-designed program. We have highly trained teachers working with the students. One, two, three, four, five. So some of the skills they learn besides their ABCs and counting and those kinds of cognitive skills are just as important learning how to work with others, how to share, how to cooperate and collaborate. All of those skills are key to being successful in K through 12. That's a punctuation. Remember we talked about that this morning? You just cannot replace that in-person learning that happens with your peers. And so this is an opportunity for them to get a feel for what it's like to be in a classroom with 20 children and how to manage themselves in that situation. No, we just say goobly, 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 goobly. Say it. Goobly, 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 goobly. They are loving it. I mean, because they, you know, a lot of times at this age, you can teach and kids can learn through play. And so we do a lot of that. They don't realize how hard they're working because we've structured it in such a way that it's developmentally appropriate. Two, three, four. Five. And so those kinds of problem solving skills, task persistence, if they can't get it right the very first time to stick with it until they get there, these kinds of um, skills research has shown is just as predictive of a student's success in their future as the cognitive skills. Yes, four. They're going to rock and roll. They are going to be ready. And they are so excited to be back. They are loving it. They're loving being with their friends. And they are so excited about going to kindergarten. Good job. Charlie, can you put
put these circles on top of the number 10. I'm already ahead of the game. You are ahead of the game. I love it. JCPS has partnered with JCTC to provide free dual credit courses for students. We know this is an equity issue, that some of our students have access to many college credit bearing courses, dual credit courses, and some may not have that same access. And so as a part of equity, we want to ensure that all of our students have access to a full menu of dual credit classes and a full menu of AP classes. This dual credit class opportunity is something I am truly excited about. Dual credit classes will help me on my career path by accelerating my college education. These double credits are helping me knock those classes out and furthering everything faster. Every student in JCPS, every junior and senior now, will have access to the same menu of dual credit courses and AP courses, but the dual credit will be through JCTC. We do it for free. The state is subsidizing about 40% of the tuition costs for these students. The college eats the rest, and we make sure these students get this exposure and have an opportunity to take these courses for free. Because we know if these students are successful, they're more likely to come to us, they're more likely to be successful as students when they get to us, and everybody wins. So any juniors or seniors out there, if you have a 2.8 GPA or higher, we've got to get you enrolled in dual credit or career and tech ed classes that you may not have had access to before. They'll be taught by JCTC instructors. Um, it will be done virtually at the school, so much of it will be done at the school, but students will also have access uh, to these courses at home as well. Uh, this is the kind of work that sets the stage for a new JCPS. Uh, it is one that challenges the status quo unapologetically. It's one that increases opportunity, increases access, and increases equity for our students, and we are excited uh, to be able to bring it to them this year. I think we are going to be a model in JCPS nationally for how to make sure that we have equity in access to all AP dual credit courses and all of our kids, every single kid has an opportunity to graduate from high school with a diploma and an additional college credit classes. I hope other students will talk to their counselors about enrolling in these classes. This is something I am super excited about and I have already taken the time to sign up for them. We've got more JCPS stories coming up. Stay tuned. Every school in JCPS under one roof for one day only. It's time for our showcase of schools. You can talk to school leaders about the opportunities that students have in technology, the arts, and college and career readiness. Explore your choice options as you learn about each school's innovative approach. Learn about the Academies of Louisville and about our magnet schools. Join us on Saturday, October 9th from 9 to 4 at the Convention Center downtown. Save money on parking by carpooling or riding TARC. We are JCPS. I'm Karen Pulliam, and I'm a school counselor at Hawthorne Elementary. You're waiting patiently. I love it. I think that I just love building relationships with our students and their families and helping them in any way that I can, figuring out uh, what their goals are and then empowering them to reach those goals. Well, I think that teachers are stretched so thin nowadays. I mean, they have so many responsibilities and so many tasks that they must complete. And I think it's really important to have one person in the school whose sole focus is just the well-being, uh, mental and emotional, of the students. And also to be able to provide those supports to the teachers um, to allow them to meet some of those needs in their own classrooms as well. Everyone that has worked with children as educators has had to make a huge turn <laughs> in the last little bit of time um, learning how to do what we do virtually. I loved when we were doing NTI that the students were able to click on my website, do some calming strategies, maybe access some fun activities online that they could use at home to deal with some of the stress that they were dealing with during the pandemic. I'm so lucky that I have been a teacher for a long time um, and a school counselor, so I actually get to work often with teachers at my school and in the district that I've taught as students. So it's really rewarding to see that they've gone on and that they're also really helping others as well. I'm Karen Pulliam and I am JCPS. Welcome back to Our Kids. I am Atherton High School correspondent Elizabeth Satterley. The Academy at Shawnee got a $42 million overhaul, including reopening the third floor for the first time since the early 1980s. Chester King, I graduated from Shawnee in 1971. 
actually came to uh, Shawnee in 1965. This was a middle school. I came back as a security guard in 98 or 99. I actually came to the third floor and saw how bad shape it was in. Lockers in the middle of the hallway, chalkboards on the floor, floors tore up. It was in bad shape. I've never been up here before. It's crazy to me. It really looked to me like a ghost tour, you know, like an old prison or something. That's really what it reminded me of. We've come a mighty long way, but we're here. And this renovation opens the door for more facility and educational success. It's important for our students. I like you all, but I love those two people over there because that's what education is all about. I've seen some work done to the bathrooms, bigger rooms. I hope it brings more people to really think about coming to this school because this school is a great school, so I hope it changed some people's minds. I'm seeing a completely different look from what I saw eight, nine years ago. This is modern, the floors have been redone. It makes my heart flutter because Shawnee was a dying school as far as I was concerned, and now I'm seeing life put back into it, and I hope enrollment goes up. Hopefully they'll see a new school and, and want to come back to Shawnee and get Shawnee back on the map like it should be. I always knew it was the third floor. I just never really got any details about it. Uh, it's really cool to see these uh, plain white walls, and that's because I think it's a really cool thing for students to get to like leave their mark on the school in a sense. And we're going to have a whole new generation of kids that are going to get to you know, leave posters or artwork, stuff like that behind. It just shows me that they really care, and uh, like I said, you can tell when you come here that the uh, teachers and staff really care about students. Because we have done this, it is more accessible, more appealing for staff, family, and the Shawnee community. To our Shawnee students, please never forget that you deserve the best, always. It was free to participate in the JCPS Summer League. See how students at Cameron Middle School and Bloom Elementary sharpen their skills. It's a backpack summer league. This is pretty cool. I actually like it. You just can fill it up with dirt. You fill your cup up. Oh. Today he's doing plants. So we're gonna we're gonna learn about plants. I'm not sure what about yet. They like to keep it a surprise. You can twist your hand around it and a lot of the corn will come off. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's going everywhere. Here, I kind of feel like it's just like getting us prepared for the next grade and like making sure we can like keep the work that we did in seventh grade in our mind. And we do like a lot of stuff with Think Lost, like a lot of lawyer stuff, which is really cool because I feel like I want to be a lawyer now when I get older. And we do a lot of math stuff that helps out with like, because I'm in DMS, so it helps out like with me so I can keep up with my math and everything, so it's really cool. So now you can register a drone and you can that's pretty cool to pull. I like the in summer school because I, I'm like one of those people who love school. Make sure you put that in your little hole you made and cover it back up with dirt and make sure the stem and the green leaves are sticking out. So we have to stick it into the dirt. <laughs> so what is that? A tomato. So now that I'm doing this program and doing in-person school is kind of making everything better because in virtual class, I was kind of struggling at first because I wasn't used to it. Yeah, come on, get under. You want to scoop your cup in? It might make it a little easier. So I feel like I was so nervous to start in eighth grade because I didn't know like what I was going to be starting off on. And since I didn't get like to do, like since my seventh grade year was kind of messed up, I didn't really know what was going to happen when I got into eighth grade. But now with this, I kind of feel like it'll be a smooth transition in my eighth grade year. See that in school. Every of us have seen that in school. It's just the teachers and everyone here is just, they, they're really cool and uh, they really care. They really show how much they care about us, stuff like that. In-person experience during the summer is pro I'm probably learning a lot more. And I feel like right here is like really where we get to go hands-on with the activities and learn more about it than we would in regular classes because they don't have time to do this. But people that actually specialize in this really helps us to like, get to learn more about it. You get a lot of new experiences. It's amazing. Wow, perfect. You will be able to answer each of these questions and you also have a clue. Pilots reported a person with a jetpack flying about 
3,000 feet in the air. The FAA says two airline crews reported the close encounter Sunday night. The pilot, he saw a person in a jet pack. And what I wrote was that he called the FAA to tell them about the um, jet pack and about like what happened. So they could have trapped. So I think he's like, why would the FAA do this? Did he have permission? Called the F FAA just to like ask them if they had any secret plans for that to happen. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think with with Backpack League and using that curriculum, it's just to get them to work on critical thinking skills, is to get them to put pieces of information together. It's really good for them because it helps them to break down information, uh, to process it, to think about it, um, to um, to give site-based evidence. You need a visual. Ms. Brown needs a visual right here. Just in two weeks, they've improved. Great. It's amazing how well um, they're enunciating and sounding out words. And then they're always pretty much always really kind to each other and patient with each other. So we're working on those skills as well. How about we start off? Really? Well, it's like getting us back into the school routine, making us think hard, and it's getting us back into talking and in, like in front of the class and getting us back into reading and writing and all that stuff. Lit and camps are known for combining reading and fun learning experiences. Check out some of the great camps held over the summer. Good morning, I'm Layla. This funny book is about the students at elementary school. The chance of rain is 30%. I'm at Lucy and Protection Camp at Watson Elementary. So basically what we did was we read a book called Miss Cuddy is Nutty. It's a really funny book about these kids getting one million dollars from Miss Ella Mitri. And it's, her name is actually Ella. They learned all about figurative language. They learned about idioms and hyperboles. And then in the afternoon, we had the production team for JCPS come out and talk to the kids and teach them about broadcasting. And we had some guests from different news studios, WAVE and WLKY, and talk to the kids about their careers in um, broadcasting, and the kids got to make their own broadcasts. Good morning, I'm Layla. And Glory. I was trying to look, I would have to like look straight, not like that, because I would mess everything up. It had to take practice and practice and practice. We learned how to use iMovie. We also learned how to edit. Ms. Showwatcher said because since now that we're professional at using iMovie, she said when I'm in her class, uh, I could go around and help uh, um, other classmates that need help with doing with the iMovie. JCPS has had more than 650. Would you recommend camp to your friends? Would you tell them to come? Mm, yeah, because it's going to be really fun. And also, they're going to love it. They're going to learn so much stuff like I did. It was awesome because this morning we actually went through every backpack success skill and we determined that the camp that we've done this week actually met all five success skills. They were effective communicators. They were productive collaborators because they worked together. They were globally and culturally competent. You know, they did the uh, newscasts in three different languages. They were innovative, very innovative in the way they created it. Um, they just, they did an awesome job. Have you rehearsed for Ms. Durbin or Ms. Amador yet? Okay. We're at Goldsmith Elementary School and we are at one of our summer learning camps and we are learning numbers and entrepreneurship. We're making an electronic store, so sort of like Best Buy. My business is we are selling bracelets. We have been working on a hotel for homeless people and other people. We did Bikes and Burgers Palace and basically it's a bike shop and also a burger shop but there's also a track combined with it. We are helping kids develop um, a business that is their project, and we try to help them on, tap into their creative side, like what would they do if they could do anything. So they really get hands-on, project-based uh, mathematical lesson. We make it, you buy it. We've learned about expenses and costs and um, 
you know, you know, like we've made our own business cards and we've started to make our own businesses, as you can see around. So, yeah, I've enjoyed this two weeks at camp. I've been very impressed by the creativity. Um, it's all over the place, and kids, are, they're really kind of tapping into the things that they like already at their age. They've all had to pick a charity for their business, and just to see, you know, some kids wanting to give to St. Jude because they've been impacted by cancer, um, dare to care, it's a very positive thing to see. My favorite part about the camp is probably the fact that we get to make our own businesses. I knew we'd be doing it, but I had no idea it'd be this much fun. Learning new things, because you don't know what's coming ahead of you. You don't know what's going to be hard or not hard for you. That's why I think I signed up for this. I think it's going to help me because I learned a lot over here and a lot of big words. What profit, entrepreneur. They learn from this book uh, about money management. It's about a kid who learns to save from his grandfather. And they also start to see the value of, of a dollar and um, having to you know, take things such as what it's going to cost them to supply their business what they can sell their products for, and then what they're left with afterwards. So it really gives them a concept as to, you know, what life costs in some ways as well. And, uh, <laughs> I just like I'm stirring up some soup. We are at GNC Elementary School for the Lit and Robotics Summer Camp. Yeah. For the last two weeks, we've been reading Let It Shine, stories of black women freedom fighters. It's like slaveries and stuff and like black Woman, so black women's what they had did back then in slavery. It's about a black woman in history. I really enjoyed it, and there were really interesting facts. And I hope they take a sincere, deep appreciation for these women, um, and that they aren't abstract people from the past, but they had real, lasting impact even in their lives today. The robotics people come in, Bricks for Kids came in an hour and a half every afternoon. We do robotics with Legos, as you can see right here, and customize stuff mm -hmm. to make it really close to my imagination. We got to play with motors and stuff, and if we finished early, we got a free build. This camp is really fun, and my favorite part is robotics and playing Side. The robotics that they did and the projects that they worked on, thinking that robots can transfer into real life. Um, for example, the, the Roomba, like a robotic vacuum cleaner. So just thinking outside the box. Well, some of my old classmates are here, so I like spending time with them. I have had lots of fun during robotics in everything we have done here at this camp. Farmer Elementary School's Junior Beta Robotics team was recently named a national champion after competing at the 2021 Beta National Convention. The second year in a row, the team has earned the national title. The Farmer Robotics team designed, programmed, constructed, and implemented a robot by incorporating skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Congratulations to our very own former Our Kids anchors, Edward Smith and Madison Weiss. The Pleasure Ridge Park High School graduates recently won High School Student Production Emmy Awards from the Ohio Valley Chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Thanks for watching our show. You can find entire episodes on our JCPS YouTube page. Until next time, keep supporting Our Kids.